Let's look at more amazing free items in Cyberpunk, including legendary weapons, unique weapons, perk points that you can get. I will share the location here and showcase the weapons in action as well. If you like that, then a like would really help the channel out and let's go. Let's start with the amazing Genjiro smart gun that you find over here on the map in Westbrook in the Arasaka estate. The thing is though that you need an improved jump to get over the gate. You can buy that at a Ripper Dock, for example, over here on the map. But the other Ripper Docks should have these upgrades too. I'm not sure if you need a high street cred for this. I'm level 50 now, so it's hard for me to check. But yeah, get it. It's quite expensive, 45,000 eddies. And you can choose between two. Both will work, but I'm getting the reinforced tendons now for a mid-air jump because that will come in handy for multiple situations and if you don't have the money then you can always check my money farm video that I will link to in the pinned comments. So going back to the villa for the smart gun because now you can enter by jumping on the plants to the side of the gate. There will be some guards here protecting the property and you can go in guns blazing if you want to take everyone out but you can also do it sneaky and just skip all the guards like it's not really that hard. Go via the front door and then just walk straight until you find an office on your right hand side. And then you will find the gun laying on the desk there and there will be some other loot that you might want to grab too. And it's actually easy to get out as well without firing a gun. So you can do it the stealth way if you want. Either way this Genjiro is awesome. Especially against mechanical enemies like robots or Maelstrom gang members. Because it's all about the extra electrical damage and shock chance. That is increased thanks to the perk on the weapon. And as you can see the headshot damage multiplier is nuts as well. So you will be firing 4 rounds per shot with a pretty high fire rate. So the chance that the enemies will take shock damage over time is really high. Also nice is that the magazine size is larger than other pistols. So you basically have a small SMG in your hand. It's really cool. And you of course need the smart cyberware from a ripper dock to have the bullets like more easily go to the targets and I will leave a link to a video also on how you can get it for free if you don't have it yet in the pinned comments. And shout outs to V1B3Z for letting me know via Instagram about this gun. If you found something cool of course let me know in the comments of this video or social media or via the input at drafted.com email address. And let's touch on some more weapons because another amazing pistol that also fires an extra round per shot is Lissy. And maybe you already got this during the automatic love mission that opens up immediately at the start of Act 2. So that's after the heist. But if you missed it, then you can actually go back to Lizzie's bar to get it. So the bar is over here on the map in Watson. As you might know, it's also noted with a bar icon. Just go through the party to the back and then you want to go to the left. Open this door to the changing room. And then we want to go to the right. And then you want to take the stairs and just go down here to then in the end grab the gun. So that's nice that if you missed it you can still grab it. That's totally not the case for all the weapons in the game. And this one is really nice. Like it's a tech gun meaning that you can charge it up to fire more rounds. And it's very satisfying to pull off that charged shot. You can have enemies burn as well thanks to that. Like there is a burn chance and with multiple bullets at once you have a very high chance to trigger it. So enemies might die from the burning effect in front of you as well. There will be some recoil with this charge shot. So maybe start low and then the weapon will go up vertically during all the shots. So you can have everything hit the enemy. It's a really fun gun to use and just like Genjiro... It's a unique pistol. And maybe you already know this, but once you grab it, you also get a crafting recipe for a higher variant, which is nice. Another weapon that is missable during the automatic love mission is the cocktail stick katana. The sad part is though that I haven't found a way to go back and grab it if you missed it the first time around. So maybe if you found one way, let me know in the comments down below. It is a full pink katana that is unique as well. The stats are average. So you mostly want to get it for the look, like it's a pure pink blade. So totally, if you haven't finished the automatic love main mission yet, then you still want to get this weapon. And at one point you are asked to leave the clouds bar, and then you are in this room with the neon lights. They can go to another room where if you open it up, you will see the bliss sign, 
and in this room you will very easily find the katana although again it's sadly not obtainable after this mission you can also get free perk points in cyberpunk and shout outs to erics gaming for highlighting the locations on his channel a link will be in the video description so for the first perk shard we want to go over here on the map in watson an early game region there will be a warehouse here that you want to sneak in there will be some drones guarding it so you can take them out if you want and if you keep looking then you will find the perk shard in a chest for the second location we want to go over here to westbrook in japantown and then close to the road you will actually find a car with three enemies surrounding it you want to take out those enemies i use the katana here and then actually in the back of the truck you will find a body that has one perk shard and also the driver will have a perk shard as well. And the moment you pick up one of these perk shards, you immediately get a new perk point as well that you can then spend. So very nice. There's another amazing weapon that you can just pick up, a legendary. And this one has a really cool effect compared to other smart guns. And it's actually the one that I used in that duplication glitch video as well that I will link to in the pinned comment. It's called the Shingen Mark V SMG that you can easily find over here in Santo Domingo. So drive here, there's a fast travel point nearby, so maybe you got that already. And then you find the weapon inside the facility. Like just run straight, I'm just ignoring all the enemies. And then at one point you will find a container that is left open. But there is a bomb inside that will trigger when you get too close. So shoot it first before you go inside. And they can get this cool prototype pistol. You need to be level 15 by the way to use it. And of course have once again the smart link cyberware. Again link to it in the pinned comment. So you can have the homing missiles. And then you are in for a treat. Because this weapon fires explosive rounds. Like don't expect massive explosions that will hit multiple enemies. Although it is possible if enemies are standing very close to each other. We got thermal damage on the weapon. 10% burn chance. Which is always very nice on an SMG. But the most unique feature is the fact that it can keep track of more than one enemy. Where other smart weapons of course focus on one target. That you can then see through walls. Here you can see more enemies through walls, but even better, you can also target and fire at up to three enemies at once. So this weapon is an insane option for when fighting groups and easily dealing with more than one enemy. Having the burning effect then appear often is great too, like it's a really nice get. If you found more awesome things in Cyberpunk, then totally let me know in the comments down below or via the input at drapta.com email address. A like on the video would really help me out and subscribe for way more Cyberpunk content. Totally check out my previous video on the secret loot of Johnny Silverhand that you want to get in the game. And for now, I will speak to you next time. Goodbye!